Alright guys, so iOS 26 developer beta 4 and the first public beta have been out for a little over a week now. We're soon going to get the next set of betas. In this video, I wanted to talk about my experience so far with iOS 26 developer beta 4 slash public beta one, I want to talk about some of the changes that I've noticed after using the beta for a little over a week now. I also want to talk about some of the system issues, bugs and crashes, performance, battery life, and so much more, as well as the next set of beta expect the release date. So let's go ahead and dive right into this video. So the first thing I want to talk about is this new pop-up inside of the App Store. This is for the App Store and Apple Arcade. You see here Apple explaining three new features coming to the privacy of the App Store and Apple Arcade. We have more age restriction options, we have new accessibility nutrition labels, and we have the top played games chart, which will be available within the App Store. Now, interestingly enough, this pop-up did not appear initially when I installed Beta 4. It happened about a week later. I just wanted to share this one with you guys. Now, I want to talk about some of the bugs that I've encountered on the latest beta. And I want to start off with the phone application because I feel like the phone application has given me the most issues with the latest beta. For starters, the call hold assist feature does not appear to be working on the fourth beta. Every time I put a call on hold with the assist, try to get back to the call, it doesn't work. I have to end the call and call the person back in order to resume, right? So this is an issue that I've encountered uh, over and over on the fourth beta, and hopefully with the fifth beta, we'll see better improvement and stability to the phone application. I've also noticed that the phone application sometimes crashes on me when I'm trying to read a voicemail or when I get an incoming call from an unknown number and it tries to silent unknown callers. Hopefully the phone application will see improvement and hopefully we'll finally get the call on hold assist to work properly with future beta. Now for the first time throughout this beta testing cycle, I've experienced my first system wide crash. As you can see right there, the entire springboard just crashed on me. When I was deleting pictures and videos from the photo application, I closed the photos app and the entire system crashed. Now I know some of you guys have experienced system crashes on previous betas. Let me know in those comments down below if you're experiencing system crashes and what were you doing when the system crashed on you? I would like to know in those comments down below. Now the next thing I wanna talk about is performance because I did run a benchmark here for the CPU. As you can see right there, this is the latest benchmark. And there on the top, you see the latest beta, beta four versus the previous beta, beta three. And you see there the single core and the multi-core performance on the latest beta has decreased slightly, yes. You see those numbers there from beta three to beta four, performance has decreased slightly in the CPU side of things. Now I haven't noticed any major hiccups within the software other than the system crash that we talked about after photos and some minor crashes with a the phone application. In regards to the software experience so far, for the most part, I would like to say the software is running pretty smooth. Keep in mind, this is still beta software, so you can encounter crashes. You will encounter crashes, bugs, and issues. But the overall experience, I would say, it's pretty okay right now in terms of the beta. Now, you guys are asking, have I experienced any overheating on my device? I know some of you guys are having overheating issues. Luckily, I'm happy to report that on the latest beta 4, I haven't encountered not one single overheating prompt on my device, which I did encounter in beta 2 and beta 3. You might remember those videos where I cover that. So, so far, no overheating when charging or at all on this device on the latest beta. And when it comes to battery life, I know you guys always like to know how's the battery life so far. And I do have to say that battery life, once again, has improved slightly once again, but it still needs plenty of work. So yeah, battery life still needs work, but we continue to see improvement beta over beta. Now, that brings me to the last topic. When can we expect the fifth developer beta and the second public beta? So keep in mind that Apple is currently on a two weeks release schedules for new betas. So if we go by the two weeks release schedule, the fourth developer beta was released on July the 22nd and the first public beta on July the 24th. So two weeks will be on the week of the 4th of August. So on the 5th and the 7th of August, we could expect a new betas for developers and public beta testers. Obviously, that would be beta 5 for developers, beta 2 for public beta testers if we go by the two weeks release schedule. So next week on the week of August the 4th, we could expect the next beta. So it's right around the corner. Thank you for watching, guys. I just wanted to share this information with you guys. So far, iOS 26, I'm liking the software so far. I'm liking what Apple is doing. It still needs plenty of work, obviously, 
heavy, especially on the battery side of things. But overall, I feel like the experience is pretty solid so far. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoy the video, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.